Anyone who goes downtown during the week knows what a nightmare it is to find parking. The new Park Plus system was meant to ease parking woes by adding more spots. In theory, removing meters allows vehicles to park closer together. In theory. Alderman Ray Jones is one member of council who believes Park Plus is not working as well as it could. He's awaiting a report on the situation. The new system seems to have created more headaches than anything else, especially for courier companies, paper shredders, photocopy services, and caterers. This is worrisome. The shortage of sufficient loading docks and loading zones is hurting our small businesses who service the downtown. That in turn hurts the major corporations headquartered there, who may find themselves without basic services. You have to feel for people like Sam Castleman, who owns Mission Possible Delivery. She can no longer convince her drivers to go downtown because of the time, trouble, and escalating parking costs just to make $10 per delivery. Vehicles briefly parked anywhere but in a designated loading zone are almost guaranteed a ticket under the new system. Enforcers zip up and down the streets in camera-equipped vehicles, snapping photos all day long. The data are then cross-checked by a computer, automatically sending tickets to those license plates that are illegally parked. Castleman says her drivers get tickets every day and now refuse to go downtown. She's had a 100% turnover, with at least five drivers quitting. Then again, the city has no choice but to crack down on illegal parkers. Otherwise, delivery cabs and service trucks park too close to fire hydrants and double park anywhere they can squeeze in. Or even worse, they stop in the middle of the back alley and block traffic. Alderman Jones, who chairs the Land Use Planning and Transportation Committee, says the parking review should offer solutions to mitigate these problems. We hope so. More loading zones and easily accessible loading docks would go a long way, as would cracking down on those illegally parked in spaces designated for legitimate pickups and drop-offs. Downtown needs a solution that accommodates service companies rather than penalizes them. I'm Paula Arab and that's how the Herald sees it.